Hey fellow reading warriors and welcome to today's video. I was so happy I got to uh, send my mom a text and ask her what her favorite books were of all time so that from this Mother's Day we can have some recommendation from my mother either to you or to your mother in celebration of Mother's Day coming up this Sunday. My mom is, she says she's not a big reader, but I also know that she almost always has an audiobook going. Like, she's really big into audiobooks, same as my dad, and she doesn't read near as much as my dad does, but like, my mom reads. Not a lot, but she reads, and so I thought it'd be really interesting to hear some of her recommendations, and then whether or not your mom is a big reader, there may be some books on this list that your mom can also add to her list. So the first book on this list is, of course, it's very much my mother, but it is The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. My mom is a huge Chronicles of Narnia fan. She reads all of them, including starting from like The Horse and His Boy, all the way through, over and over again. Um, she loves the audiobooks for them. So if you haven't already read The Chronicles of Narnia, or maybe your mom hasn't, this is one that my mother definitely loves. Then the second one that my mother told me was The Becoming by Michelle Obama. So this is Michelle Obama's book. Uh, I don't know if it's a, like a biography or it's very much based off of her life. It's very encouraging, uplifting. Um, I also know that my aunt read it and she also very much enjoyed this book. Um, and it's one that I've been meaning to get to. I have it on my TBR. I keep seeing it in bookstores and being like, oh, I need to buy it. And then like, it just it hasn't quite happened yet. But I've heard a lot of great things about this book, and I'm sure every woman on the world should, in the world should read it. The next one that my mother suggested was actually the Sabriel trilogy, and all of these are obviously by Garth Nix, and it is a trilogy of Sabriel, who is uh, the daughter of, he's kind of like a necromancer, except his main purpose is to help the dead go through the stages of death and be like, and calmly pass on to the next life while also uh, keeping dangerous dead creatures from coming back into our living world. Um, I love these, my brother loves these. Apparently my mom loves them as well. Um, so if you're up for some necromancy or kind of really cool fantasy dealing with the dead fantasy worlds, definitely give Sabriel a chance. And there are other books in the world that Garth Nix has, re Garth Nix has written, but these are the main trilogy. And then the last two books on this short little list that my mother has comprised are by the same author, by Kristen Hanna. They are The Nightingale and The Great Alone. And I know The Nightingale became very popular a while back and it's a lot of people's favorites. Um, but then also, you know, obviously she's written other books. And so The Great Alone, both of her books that my mom highly recommends, they were historical fiction. Uh, she said that they really hit home and that they were very emotional and that she cried and you know and it's it's <laughs> so if you're looking for a good tearjerker I would say try one of these two as my mother does not read a lot of historical fiction um, but she absolutely loved these so all right I know this was a very short video like I said my mom reads a lot but she doesn't really talk about reading a lot or like continuing to read. Um, so I hope you all have a lovely Mother's Day. If you liked this video, I post videos every Thursday, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you can be alerted when on Thursdays I do post. Otherwise, like the video if, if you liked this video, if you have similar reading tastes as my mom, or if you're going to pass any of these on to your mom. Also comment down below any recommendations that your mothers have, or if you are a mother, some of your recommendations. Um, and I would love to hear them from you guys. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you a happy reading.